call the meeting to order. I'll take minutes until Randy gets here. If not, it's not going to be a lot to take anyways. Um, first order of business is to approve the minutes of uh, January 3rd. Any comments, corrections? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. He'll be here. He's just finishing up a Zoom call. And okay. He'll be here as soon as he can. Gary, motion. Who seconded it? Nobody yet. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passed. Um, <clears throat> here is Carolyn made copies of the of this. So the first, do you want me to just go over this? Let me yes. Just show you yeah, the yeah. Okay. First page is what I do need from you guys um, um, is the uh, the date that we want it completed by. But it might be better to go through um, uh, the the dates that we've got in here so that you can backtrack um, and decide um, on how you want to set up the. the uh, how long do you think it's going to take to do this? Um, and we can, I can also reach out to uh, Samson and West and, and get confirmation of how long they think that it takes. Okay. Has town council reviewed this yet? Yes. They have? Yes. Okay. So we're, we're good to go with what is pretty much here. They're good? Okay. So the due date is February 29th. And... Mm -hmm. Thursday, February 29th at 2 p.m. We do have the questions concerning the RSQ being submitted to me. Um, I'll also be forwarding those to you and Jennifer. Jennifer, just for uh, keeping record. Okay. Um, and if there's questions that we feel needs to come back, we'll hold it. We would hold a meeting to answer those questions. The key is, is if they ask questions after they submit, we have to submit the same questions and answers to all of the people who are submitting. <coughs> the challenge with when it should be completed by the whole project is this is covering the whole project from start to finish. So we're talking about years. 
So we, but we have to give some kind of indication um, of how long this will take from the beginning of working with the designer as well as uh, overseeing the whole project when the contractors start. It's the same person. Okay. I would think at least a year of construction, probably 12, 12, 12 to what, 16 months? 12, 18, 18, 18, yeah. 12 to 18 months. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> bidding is typically, they can typically bid it in about a month. But is the design, well the design is going to take some design and go in a town meeting because we're going to get it, we're going to get a design. And my guess is it's going to be too expensive. And we're going to have to look at it and say, okay, what can we not do? And what can we put off to make it affordable? What is the chances of the state coming across with any matching I really don't think that that's a number we should be even thinking about because it still has to go through the legislature and then the funding has to be authorized. Okay, so when it's is gonna, this? It's going to be a small amount. When are we planning on presenting this this part to the are we to the town meeting or we don't have to? Which we, part? We don't have to present anything that we, we're here. good to go with. No, this. the next the next process now is once we secure the OPM, yeah. you guys get familiar with them. They kind of they they'll talk to you about what their role is and what the process is. Then we have to go out to bid for an architect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but we, we got to we'll get a we'll, we'll, we'll get a we'll get a schematic design first, and that's the one we're probably going to have to hack and slash mm -hmm. before we go for the big design because that's going to be the we'll that's going budget. Numbers. That's going to be that's going to be the number we go into town mm -hmm. meeting with. Yep. So, should we <clears throat> spend the time and money of him designing? Uh, the last proposal, or the current proposal, and then go have to go back and cut it. Maybe we should be looking at some cutting before. Well, my two cents to that is they're used to doing this kind of stuff. So when we get a design, you ask for an itemized. We don't just don't want twenty-four million dollar price tag. We want a pretty itemized design of this, of this, of this, of this. And then from that, it, it's not too difficult to take things out because you know what roughly what things are going to cost. What you're going to say. Okay. And, well, we, you know, we, 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 we could, you know, we could do without this, but we could do it down the road. It probably won't be too bad. And we could, you know, you, you kind of, that's where it's going to be some give and take with us and, and especially with the DPW group. I mean, the department, Scott and um, Gary here, to say, well, you know, we, we could, we need this, but we really would like, you know, what, what, do you, what are your needs versus what are your wants? And then you go from there. It's like anything else, like you're going to design a house. Yeah. Well, you're not going to design the Taj Mahal of a house, you're going to design what you would like, but realizing there's probably going to be a few things in there you could do later or do without for the time being. Okay, so what we're going to design is close to what we want, but probably something we can live with if we have to take certain things well, out. I, I agree with all that, but if we're going to keep going to town meeting, then it's going to get rejected. And then there's another six months before you can go back to town meeting again. Now this completion date, whatever we pick here, could be instead of two years down the road, or three years down the road, by the time we design and go out the bid, it could be five years. And, and, and to be very honest with you, that's what our job is. What do we think the town can approve? Be honest, I'll be honest, you two guys are cheap. You, yeah. you know a lot about building. That's one of the reasons I wanted you guys on here because these guys are gonna want a lot. I'm kind of in the middle, but you know, have a good feeling of what the town would approve, at least dollar-wise. I'd rather frugal than cheap. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I get okay. It. But anyways, th that's why I want to have you guys because your input is very important. You get a better feeling, especially you. You're out to the town every day. What do the people? You know, yeah, yeah. What, what do you think? What do the people yeah. think? What do you think? Good yeah. feelings. Yeah. That means a lot here. Everything that I do here, everybody is in agreement. It we need something, right? But it's is it the twenty four million to thirty five million? Is it? Th that's exactly it. the town yeah. agrees we need a new they DPW. Do, yeah. 
but the the range of what we need yeah, is yeah. wide open. What can we? Yeah. What do we need? Yeah. You know. So yes. Okay. So, we're all so we're on the same. Is it okay? And I'm sorry if I keep interrupting. Just no. it. But so just a clarification for everybody, especially the public. What the schematic design does is. It specifically is looking at what are your needs. What are your? In, I, I know I'm speaking in my terms. You guys yeah, totally yeah. understand this, everybody here. But exactly what do we need for HVAC? Exactly what we need for plumbing? Exactly yeah. what we need for storage? So they're bringing us the when they're going to give us the exact numbers or or estimates as close as possible of what all of the whole part of the process is the process or the project is going to cost and that it is when where this group will come in and say well you know what it'd be nice to have this but let's phase that in but we can't start anywhere cutting or adding because the numbers that we got from the feasibility study are very loose Bang. numbers yeah. They, yeah. they could be more which probably is or they could mm -hmm. be less mm -hmm. we don't know so that's the part the schematic design isn't so much how it's going to look and all of that it's what what does the town need? Components and pricing. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right, so one other question before we go on. Originally, when you presented it to the town meeting, it was thirty million dollars. Yeah. And in here, uh, Carolyn, like you got twenty-four. Yeah. So how did that change or come about? Part of it is Wesson and Sampson projected this building out and then added an inflation factor, like almost five years out. And we're expecting to be able to do this in less than that. So you take out some of the inflation factor and stuff like that. So okay, so it was twenty four, but with they, they they added a huge inflation factor and the huge contingency. Okay. okay, and they told us right up front that this number is worse, almost like worst case. That's you good. probably can do better, yeah. but we're just trying to give you a one of these things. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. And when I, I'm, I'm pretty sure because that's the 24 million. This three million that we're using for the opening designer fee is part of that 29 that, that extended, or 27. I can't remember 27 or 29. So we, yeah. we've got that. So you can take that from it. So but they are. Okay. I think and you're the three million at, wasn't approved. It was 200 and what 25 two, for this. 225 for this, and then once we get this, then you're going to go and you hire the architect, and you hire the architect for the full design through the project so there that fee is significantly more but then we have to go to town meeting for, for that fee that three million. yeah well, what, what, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go to town i'm a t and i am anticipating going to town meeting for the whole ball of wax oh for the building plus the, the architect, architect. Yeah, yeah because we're going to have we should have a price and i would hope we could go for the whole ball of wax as opposed to going back twice but with time will tell what we think and that's fall of 24. Five, fall, of 20, fall of 24 is probably going to be ambitious to, to go spring back to 25. Spring is probably a year from now is when we'll be ready. That's my guess. At the earliest. To get approval. And then it's 18 months yeah. from there. I would say you're going to, what do you well, do about more at than least that, three years? Because you're, yeah. you, you're going to go to town meeting for the whole ball of wax, and then you're going to have to hire an architect to design it. That's going to take months. And then yeah. you go out to bid. Yeah. I mean, this, I think this building here was... Between start to finish was over three years. Yeah. So. Hi. Hi. Hey, Randy. Didn't see you sneak in. Welcome. I'm quiet. <laughs> Thank you. I will get you what we've done so far. Okay. I. I okay. Got right into it. So. Carolyn has explained. Oh, here. here. Pass that on to Randy. <laughs> Carolyn made an updated. Old stuff with some dates in it. Okay. And she's going over. Now, when we ask questions of the OPM for the interview. We don't have to ask each one the same question. We can vary the questions for them, can't we? Well, you're looking for requests for qualifications. So yes, you want to ask the same questions. Okay. You, and it will be measured. You'll have scoring sheets. You'll okay. agree on those questions. You'll agree on how to scale it. And that's really what you'll use. Okay. Because you're not going for the lowest number. Right. You're going for the qualifications. Right. Yeah. So that's not really... Because we will, from what I've heard, 
we will get a range of OPMs applying. Some are the best, and some are stuff like some are really? stuff like we've used before. <laughs> We're not Bill, doing Bill that and Bob's again. back here, Barry. Yeah. Um, I think at least three years, if we're talking from now. Well, I mean, you're talking Springtown meeting of 25. That's a year over a year right now. She, she said that's kind of wishful thinking. And last meeting we said fall of 2025. So from there. And then you're talking about almost you may four not start years. start till spring of 26. Right. I would say four years now in that so. case. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. That's all right. So you think it break ground in spring of 26? Or is that too ambitious? Um, I would ex hope we could break ground during 26, whether it's spring early or, or later in the year. The the ground yeah, in it's probably going to be like later in the year. That's going to be probably a bit optimistic, too. I would say four years on that. I'm thinking we just did the senior center in Wolverham, and it was from start to finish, from OPM designer, and then the, um, the construction started a few months ago. I want to say it was three years. Like these two buildings and the fire station, that was on a, an empty slate. There you have an operation going on daily. Yeah, you know, that's going to add to the complexity, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah you got to keep them operating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah you, you, you got to go at least four years on yeah. that. And the elementary school was put up in a year and a half, maybe a little less than that. But again, again, clean slate. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to keep going. So, Scott, what's happening with your in ground fuel tanks if we're uh, two to three years away? Uh, is there an expiration I, I, date that you got to have them out by? Well, I'm, I'd have to look in this that to get you a specific answer, but just operation wise uh i don't know if that gas pump's going to make it that long to be honest yeah. with you yeah because maybe um the town should be looking uh, i think somewhere is about a hundred thousand dollars for removal to get them out of the ground um and then if portable pumps or try the um going out the bid through pride <coughs> any fuel provider for uh, that'd be a test run to see if that works for the town but it gets that out of the way which in the long run would speed things up as far as once we break ground to actually build because that portion would be out of the way but like those above ground tanks right the 6,000 gallon that I mean it comes pumping everything you know yeah, it's gonna yeah. be somewhat Somewhat mobile, yeah. I guess. So, well, yeah. Somewhat set in place. But where they're talking about putting them in the I last know. design is where yeah. nothing is right now. And yeah. It would be, if you yeah. put it there, it would they could continue. Yeah. But I'm, not, I'm saying if you took it out now or next year, yeah. then you use um, vendors to fuel up all the vehicles in town. And for emergency situation, you could get a 500-gallon uh, um, portable tank diesel and or gas um, emergency situation where you can't get to the pump or if there's no power there your, your generator would start um, it's, it's just a thought really for Carolyn and Randy to figure out where if there's money to um, you know get a jump on something you said you had money for that project there, there, there is I'd have to uh, oh, yeah. check with Linda on that because there was a an article it had some money in there and I don't recall I mean it, it, it was pre it was prior to me even coming here uh, mm -hmm. do you remember what I, that was I yeah, yeah. I don't it was. There, there was money for that and a little what did we did we call it uh, fuel tank removal or what did we call it? <laughs> no I think it was fuel tank upgrades, upgrades or, or improvements or something like yeah. that <clears throat> that was when we were having problems with the pump the first time, they, they, most definitely though, if you're if you're looking to do something to get That's ahead cool. of the game, that would most definitely be my suggestion. Yeah. Where we start, one way or another, something has to be done with that. Whether we, whether you build a new garage or not, we have to do something That's, with yeah, that. Yeah, it's just putting it in the, the right spot. The right spot. Now. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, I mean, 
can we go with it for another six months until we get some kind of a design? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. We've gone further than we thought we were going to. <laughs> yeah, we're borrowed time at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah, we tried the cards. I mean, we had to because of the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's weather okay. sensitive, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yes, weather sensitive, and then obviously when it gets hot, you you know, uh, yeah, it's vapor also, locks. It's also and, timing your deliveries of fuel too. Yeah. So, yeah. There's multiple factors that coincide with it. Uh, the lower the tank. How was experience yeah. with the cards? Because we had to use them for a little bit. That I I thought uh, it was fine. The, the credit cards. Yeah. How much could you put on a credit card? Was there no limit? No, no. Okay. Well, but you're only doing gas. No, fuel. You can do anything. Yeah, did you haven't done, we haven't done fuel. Right. Did, well, we did, can. Did you do diesel fuel? No, we didn't have uh, to. But we can, though. The well, car is good for anything. Where did you do it? Was there a limit on the amount of fuel in dollars, or there was no limit? You don't know. It's a credit card. There is a limit, but we never even came close okay, to so the touch hey, Let me tell well, you. When we, when we did the test on this, it was any basically anyone with a, a like a a take-home vehicle like myself, Tommy, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mitch, uh, yeah. the chief, the other chief, Evan, yeah. when well, we were really trying to conserve what we had. So anyone that was, you a know, small, uh, easy. Yeah. yeah, like Jamie did it, you know, the yeah. foreman yeah. and stuff, For, like certain people did it. Gas, was, gasoline's fine. I can tell you yeah. from experience, <sighs> diesel fuel's a different animal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Company <clears throat> that I worked for part-time, I'm sure you know who it was, was sold, recently sold. We used to always go to a local fuel company fuel it up you know 150 gallons no problem they got a gas card and you went to the, the vehicle number and all the rest right information driver code yada 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 so i got to do it at the other at the gas station on route nine two weeks ago two hundred dollars pump shut off okay re-enter the card enter it again 50 bucks in limit reached yeah. Thing takes 150 gallons. I needed 100. I needed over 100 gallons of fuel. I could needed 400 fuel. worth of fuel. I could, I could put in about 50 gallons. So I said, well, maybe it's this station. So I had to go to Westfield, try to come in front of the corner of 202 and 10, or the yeah, corner you were yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. Limit reached. Can't do it. Need a new day. I was like, well, this is not exactly a good thing. <laughs> I immediately thought about. You know what right. you guys are doing, but that might be a credit right. limit set by that company on yeah. the card. Yeah. I'm, I would be, I would hope that if you had a credit card like that, you could actually have no limit, or at least a more reasonable limit for for diesel fuel. But if the town was to bid, you know, you know how many gallons of diesel all the departments use in gas, and if Carolyn is going to bid. X for diesel and X for gas for the year, and it would almost be pump it, they'd bill you at a certain rate, and uh, it shouldn't be that issue. Um, well, it's a it's a card issue. I mean, remember the old issue. when they first started? You know. It'd be like a debit card versus a credit card run through the bank. But anyways, yeah, that's I'm, I'm sure there's a way around it. But yeah. there there should be a way of procurement where yeah. because I know it when I was at UMass. We had pumps, but we also could go to we, we Roberts to do right. that. Yeah, the, we, the cars we have cars currently, we have. It, it's a it's a state, you know, procured card through a through a you know Massachusetts uh, based like it's all the state yeah, police yeah, different yeah, yeah. organizations state use it. It's a yeah. state bid card, and that's so, any gas station. Any gas that? station. Yeah. 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 Okay, that'd be great. Fine. Yeah, All so right. it's not a, you, right. we're not locked into going to a certain yeah, station. Okay, Anyone yeah. you got drive by, you can go to. Okay, so we're on page seven, right? No, we're trying to figure out the date yeah. on page two. Right. What's the date? Okay. Completion. Project to be completed by. So. I say at least four years. I I think. Oh okay, I see right there. That's not locked in stone. I mean, that is just giving some guidance. Is um, that yeah, the anticipated. Who's gonna be, yeah. Uh, the firm who's going to may not want a four-year project. So, but that, that's what OPMs are used to. Yeah, and some some may book today or the next two years, but in two years looking for. Three, okay, so let, let's look at a reasonable expectation. We go out to bid. 
a year from now would probably oh no we go to town meeting at the fall spring of 2026 2020 2025 that's a year from now so we should have the opm chosen then it's the next thing choose the arc choose the architect we should be able to get the opm an architect cho chosen and a schematic design done and numbers finalized for spring 2025. I would think that's reasonable. A year from this spring. No? No. No. Because we're once we have the schematics, I mean once we have the OPM in place, let me let me just talk out loud, because you could be right, but I gotta talk say it out loud. So the OPM gets uh, secured by spring of this year. They help prepare the proposal uh, we be I guess the question is are you do you want to do designer and again two choices you can get the architect by himself which I would say I would be in, there may be an advantage to that knowing that this is a big ticket item to break it up into phases if you were to get the designer you would be ready to he the OPM he or she would be able to provide the documents to help us with that whole process of finding a <coughs> architect so it, it's likely that you could um, go to the next annual, which would be the annual town meeting of 25 for fiscal year 26, once we find out what it would cost for an architect. Okay. So we choose the, the bids, the, the OPM application is due the end of February. About how long would it take to choose an architect? Well, we have to get out. I mean, not an architect, an OPM. I'm oh, sorry, OPM. Well, this is if it's February 29th, and we have the we get the, them back. Maybe a couple weeks later, we have uh, um, okay. interviews. Um, but it, it, remember, you have to post the meetings for you guys to review right. it to do to do all of that. Um, Probably a couple of months. Yeah, you just got municipal just slows it down so much. March, April, so say June, but. So the in, end of April, yeah. we, end of April, we sh early, early, first of May, we should have an OPM. OPM. I would say the beginning of May to be safe. That's what I said. That's what yes. you said. Oh, beginning yep. of May. Yep. And then, how long will it take to work with an OPM to get a architect um, RFQ prepared? Uh, I I think we're. Again, uh, municipal timing, I would say, with their work, it's going to take a couple months for them to put something together. Because they're going to want to be meeting with you. What are you looking for? Um, okay. Yeah, when we get into I some I hate to give dates because I'm just not sure. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not looking to be optimistic. I'm looking for realistic dates so that, if, so that we know. Was that I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a bit. July 1 would be two months, right? Yeah. So two months for an OPM to, to, to put a list together or three months. Well, the reason I'm asking is because the one building I was on, we didn't need this. We went right to an architect. But now they got the OPM thing, so that adds some timing and complexity to sure it. Sure does. I would say at least three. Yeah, three months. Go to the long side. Right. Right. Okay, so right. from May, June, July, so first. August. First of August. Yeah. Um, ready, ready, ready for um, architect application. No, you have to get authorization. You have to go to town meeting to get. No, 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 no. We got the OPM. We have two hundred and fifty to get the schematic design. I'm, told, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. We, sorry. We, that's okay. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff here. So, beginning of August, we are ready to go out to select the architect or designer, whatever you want to call them, for the schematic design. And that's just beginning that process, correct? Pardon? Beginning the process of hiring an architect. Yes. We're not going to have an architect. That's right. Place. That's getting, that, that's, we, we have a... The OPM has helped us prepare a proposal or outline, whatever you want to call it, and we send that out and with the arc and we advertise for an with advertising for an architect. That's what we're doing for the schematic design. 
at the end, at the beginning of August or sometime in early August. And I would say that's about a month and a half. Okay, two months. So we're talking September, so October early, we get the replies. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, a month and a half. Okay. And the same thing to review yeah. and interviews. interviews and everything else, probably a month and a half or two months. Two months. So that's no October, November, say middle of December. We have a um, designer chosen. Oh, I would think so. Okay. Yeah. Now they've got to design and estimate. And town meeting is typically in May. Uh, no, 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 I'm yeah. not. I mean, don't, I let, me, let me I'm shoot myself. No, I'm let me shoot myself on a foot. <laughs> no, you're you're doing a good job. As if everything lines up, that yeah. could yeah. go for yeah, spring of that, '25. That, that's that's send it all. Considering out. what they're going to come up with and what we're going to want to be look how we're going to to be honest, hack and slash it. Right, it's going to take some. Time. It, it's not going to be ready for spring. May. Of, of 2025 be close. I think it'd be too close. Right. Because we want to be able to educate the public as well. Absolutely. We, we got a, there's a lot of publicity to put out about this yeah. once we get our numbers. So we're looking at fall 2025. Fall 2025 town meeting for the whole shebang. Now, once you get that, so that's uh, that's going to go typically October. Now, of course, you could probably keep the same architect, right? You, s you would still have to go out to bid for the architect. Really? They can they can um, still the architect who did the schematic can uh, apply. Okay, but you have to go out. To, you have to go out and advertise again. Yeah. That's my understanding. I can clarify for you, but yes. Wow, laws really have changed. Just like Weston Sampson did our. Is it Weston Sampson or Weston Sampson? Yeah, when they uh, they did the feasibility, um, they will be able to. We cannot just give the schematic right. design to them. They're going to have to right, to to advertise and bid right. But I thought that once you chose the schematic design, I thought you again. I'm going back years. You could carry them through as an architect. So, I'll double check. <laughs> but it might be different. I'm, you know, I think so. Yeah, we have to make sure that what they design, we own. Not. Yeah, we're buying those right from them. Nor, nor, normally, under I believe under the state law, you're they're designing it for us, and we do own the right the drawings. To that, yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a there's a it's a the reason I went over know this is because I was over it with with well somebody one time was an attorney, and the laws that apply to you as a private individual. Mm -hmm don't necessarily apply to municipalities for stuff like this and other state agencies mm -hmm. because they're doing it for us so we own the stuff but you're right verify that we own these things okay so so fun, funding at 2025 town meeting right if we're lucky yeah um and then we gotta go back well possibly to well, 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 well you got fall 2025 town meeting to approve it this is, this is going to be a two and a half override exclusion. So now you're going to have to have a town meeting vote following this, and that typically takes a month. So that'd be basically December, mm -hmm. like this past one. Yeah. So early, you won't be able to go out to do anything until January to get final approval. 2026, um, and then vote ballot vote. 12, 25, okay. So January 26, <clears throat> we are now ready to go out and advertise for the architect. Of course, we can at begin, in the meantime, we can be getting everything ready with, with so on and so forth. So in January, we go out, proposals. Um, I would think end of February, we expect proposals in. End of February. Um, Jim, I lost you from special town meeting 25 to 
to annual town meeting. What were you saying? Was that special? Was it going to be a special the, town meeting? 25? No, no. Fall town meet. Fall town special town meeting 2025. Mm -hmm. We vote to get the money. The money for. Architect. The whole architect, the whole thing. Thing. The whole thing. Yeah. architect and construction. Architect and construction. Yeah. And then we got to have, go to a ballot Special, vote yeah. for the override. Yeah, I, I would, I yeah. would, I would keep in the conversation the thought of doing just the architect. But I think people are going to want to know. We're going to get into that same thing yeah. like we're at with Russell School. If we're going to ask for three million dollars or whatever, people are going to want to know what. We're getting for our three million dollars not only yeah. the architect but how much money is it ultimately going to cost yeah. if we can't provide that at the same time i think that's going to be a problem I, so i'm just throwing that out there to mm -hmm. provide that to that that would be an option um that you could I, i've been involved with projects where we did the architect separate from the construction we did the okay. architect first knowing the architect was just I, I you we there are other options and we do know that i agree they want to have the answers um, I just want to be open to ways that we know it will get, it'll be easier for the residents and the voters to okay. handle. And, and, and we can decide that way down the road. Yeah, I'm just throwing yeah. it out right. there. Right, and, and we can look, we, we, let, let's, let's, all the reason I'm thinking this, they're going to want to, we're not going to get an architect without knowing what the whole cost is. Right, yeah, and, and if you get somebody that draws up something now. And it doesn't, that doesn't pass, or it does pass, and you don't know how long it takes if you're ever going to get the money to build it. Right. His plans, if the code changes or something no, like it's, that, it's yeah. he tossed yeah. it all yeah. out the window. My, my, my gut feeling says whether we go for the $3 million, it's going to use that as a number yeah. for the architect, or the $25 million for the whole ball of wax. The three million won't pass if they don't think we're going right. to get the 25 Well, that's, yeah. yeah because, and I, I wouldn't vote. At town meeting for three million because how do we ever know that the twenty five is going to pass? Yeah, like that, you know, right, that, that's right. my right. point. Everybody yeah. feels we need something, so why right. you're wasting three million on a potential? Right. You don't pass. get the, yeah. the bill. We, 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 we can certainly yeah. discuss yeah. this way more down yeah. at when yeah. the time comes closer. Yeah. But I'm just trying to get some. I'm just trying to get a, a, a completion date to see where yeah. we come out with here yeah. right yeah. now. That's all. So I'm assuming we go for the whole ball of wax and bought. Carolyn raised a good point. Yeah, Maybe we go and phase it. We'll see. But in any case, if that's the case, we get the ball of wax. The vote is in December of 2025. January 26, we go out for the architect. End of February, they're due. RFQ's due. No, not the application, yeah. And then we have probably the same uh, May before we choose an architect. Just by going back to what we did for the OPM. Um, and how long does it take? To, it's probably going to take, I would think, at least six to ten a year to design this thing. A full design. Well, he's going to have some of your schematics and right. stuff. So that's a yeah, head start. Yeah. Well, that that would be the benefit of keeping the same. Right. Yeah. You can. And depending upon well, who, who we hire, what experience they've had, they could have cookie cutter stuff that they can just cut and paste. Yeah. So we really don't know the answer. Yeah, to and, that. and that that's true. A lot of these, com the, the the companies that design like DPW facilities, they do a lot. They do have a lot of canned things because yeah. you're not designing. It's mostly going to be some kind of a butler building, metal building. I mean, that's a steel design, yada, yada, yada. A lot of it's going to be the inside and stuff like that and what we all want. So, so let's say it takes eight months to design. Let's be a little bit optimistic. December design, 2025. Then we go out to bid. Same thing, six weeks um, in, in the bid, bid uh, January, February 2026, 20, bids due. Scotty, when do we retire? Hmm? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> I'm Jimmy, you said on January 2026 to be advertising for Architect. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I got right. yeah. Okay, I got the wrong yeah. date here. So okay. due by February 26. Right. So Jan yeah, January 2027 Seven. is we go out to bid. Bids are due the end of February. Once you get the bids, um, you open them that day, most likely. Choose the low bidder, choose your ad alternates, award the contract all at the same time, pretty much. And then they go out to start construction. So you got a year of construction, you got February 2028 to be done. Uh, well, maybe, maybe that's fall, probably fall of twenty twenty. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a little four years. Saying yeah. One year yep. only. Yeah, I'd say yeah, four, four and a half, but four okay. years. I mean, say at least four months for building. Build, yeah, yeah. So By then, we might know what it will be. Right. Yeah, yeah. February, so eighteen months. That would be August twenty twenty seven. Yeah. No, 2027. No. 28. 28. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yep. January 27. 2028 for complete. October 26. 27. Oh, yeah, 28, you're right. Meeting 2025, January 26. Twenty-six. Bid to do 2027. Yeah. 2028 is when it would be complete. August, roughly August, I think of 18 months. Yeah. Yeah. You can start sharing. Yeah. So plug that data in. I mean that's that's a rough estimate. I mean, they're you know, holding anybody to. Yeah. If they're in on the project, it's going to. Well, let's face it. It's all uh, educated guests sitting here. Right. Yeah. With these numbers. Uh, wild ass yeah. guests. <clears throat> no. Scientific. Wild Scientific. Ass. Wild <laughs> ass guests. <laughs> This is if it gets approved by all the, the other meeting. The, mm. Well, right. We got conservation. We got select board. We got planning board. We got. We got a oh, name yeah. there. We got. Well, that, 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 <laughs> yeah, that, those, those are all going on in the meantime. Yeah, so those no, yeah. those aren't going to add. No, no, or no, should no, not just, add <laughs> because of all the time frames in between. Yeah. yeah. The energy code by then. Oh, I was just going to ask. Better, yeah. 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 Who knows what? Well, get the, I don't know if heard that anything financed by state. I heard it had to be 100 percent electric. I don't know. At state or funded by the state? Anything funded anymore from municipalities for the state's 100 percent electric. By then, we probably will be anyway. Well, the other thing right. is, if this, if you make this a south-facing building and we get to put solar on the roof, that's a big roof for solar. You make the heating units electric, especially if you put in floor heat. It probably won't be that bad. A monthly payment. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah. The, your initial cost, the, the solar, it's great because you really, especially if you're heating and everything else, it's yeah. going to cut down your cost yeah. for just the upfront. 25 yeah. years. But it's, you're right. You yeah, the, yeah, the upfront cost is going to be more. Yeah. But you look, but that, and that's the thing to present. We're doing this. If we put in an oil burner, we're going to be paying this much a year. If we put in electric, we're going to put this up front. But our oil, our electrical costs, depending what we put in, obviously, um, may be not too bad. So. so, in the design phase, are we going to have those numbers um, figured out so we can present that to town meeting or people? Absolutely. Okay. That, that's all part of the presentation. Yeah. We don't want to go and uh, say, okay, let's do something. We solar don't want to do it and, again. Yeah. You know, yeah. I can say, well, I haven't paid an electric bill for a year, which we haven't. But 
That doesn't mean the calendar. Well, no, a lot, like I said, a lot of that will depend on what is the estimated electrical needs, what will be the capacity of panels, even if we do it on the roof. And then you look at, okay, let's say we need, uh, you know, you're, on a roof like that, you're probably going to be able to put, you're probably going to be able to put 100 kW up there. That's a lot of panels. That's a lot of power. So that's a lot like, of money. Yeah. That's yeah. A lot, well, <laughs> exactly. About, 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 three, about three and a half dollars per, per watt. Yeah. So that's $350,000. Yeah. No, I'm hugely in favor of solar. I have it on my house, oh, and I've I, gone longer than a year without paying an electric bill, I, and it's the way to go. Well, if that's I, code for a new building, that's got to be all I'm good. good by then anyway, right? Yeah. But what happens? Can you have, still have a fossil fuel backup generator? If, you're supposed to get the, if the town were to vote on the opt-in, you still can now, but you have to have the electric everywhere with the circuit, you know, everything yeah, yeah. which yeah. brings up all that. Yeah. And then, of course, you're going to be like 10% chargers, parking lot and all that. By then, I mean, it would be 20%. Yeah. You yeah. have to have all Your that. Your first electric plow truck. Yeah. <laughs> you won't have to worry well, about it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just have to worry these, about these, the batteries these, catching these, on fire these, when it's ten below. These, these electric vehicles are getting a whole awakening. I heard there's a yeah. problem with them right now, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Pacific yeah. Northwest. Yeah. It's like it's not new to anybody that's ever worked on a call it a truck that has batteries, not electric. I mean, just plain old truck. Regular You've batteries. You've seen it. You <laughs> take you, you take your truck when it's ten below zero and you try to start it, yeah. and it goes. Bruh. Yeah. And you try to charge it. Good luck. No, It'll take, take you it forever. Battery, it yeah. will charge. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So and, there's no, the and there's nothing the wrong trucks. with yeah. the batteries. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's just that batteries don't like real sub zero. Yeah. And I can't imagine. And, 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 <laughs> yeah. And lithiums yeah. are even worse. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they totally shut down. Yeah. At least a regular battery just gets weak. A lithium shuts off. They tell you don't even hook it up if it's like <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so anticipated August 2028. Okay, like go. you said, five years, you were right. Yep. And okay, background, because that's pretty much been loaded on. Uh, Okay. Pull up in it now. Good. <laughs> well, it's just a renovation, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna turn the salsa into a highway drive. Right? It's just a renovation. <laughs> we keep it in the off footing. Yep. Um, minimum qualifications. Everybody, anybody have any comments on the stuff that was? I think, uh, I think the rest of it's all pretty much standard stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Submission sealed bids, page seven. Let's look. Nine copies. There's what? How many people on the board? Uh, one, two, There's nine of us. Nine of us? Plus Carol. Nine of us plus Carol? Yeah. You can't count me. I'm not holding them. No, no. Copies. Oh, okay. You, you can't be a reading member. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would think we <laughs> Do we want, in addition to this, an electronic copy? Yeah. Might be easier. Yeah. Might be easier. I, I would much rather look at an electronic copy than have a... You're going to get a... A stack. Yeah. 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 Um, could change frequently. Okay. Nine copies. And um, page seven, submission deadline, and one electronic copy. Uh, hmm, no, electronic copy won't work. Okay, electronic copy on. Only reason I said it because the file is going to be massive, right? So we don't probably going to be too big to email, but if we get it on a Dee Dee has a way to do it with all the ones she can scan it. There's something she does through the, and I don't ask me how. Oh, she's. Uh, she does something, so you would be able to. Okay, she's um, compressing them. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sounds like it makes sense. Yeah. And one electronic <clears throat> file. I can find out about how that is. What wording to use for that? Because I think it's just, a, isn't it just as a file? Yeah, like one, one. That way. I mean, you, and it, you need eight, I mean, nine, because you just have one in my office that people can grab. So. Is it, if it saves money, I don't know. Just saying. Doing They're going to come. It's going to be all very right. beautiful. Oh yeah, they give you the, the, day, yeah. the day. It's going to have references. Ni on it. Ninety percent of you the. You could give them six. You could give them three months to prepare this. You could give them six weeks to prepare this, and ninety plus percent of them are going to come in the morning of the 29th. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a problem? No, no, <laughs> that's just the way it is. That's just I the work way it is. Backwards. <laughs> I just I have I, yeah. I have not seen yeah. any there's very few exceptions to that. Yeah. They yep. all they'll either hand deliver them Morning or night. FedEx yeah. them overnight. Right. Yep. Or whatever it might be, UPS them. Yeah. It just they, they all you don't get them ahead of time. Okay. So one electronic file and nine copies, that should be good. Okay, do we need to vote to authorize Carolyn to do this, or? No. No? Okay, I was just looking at number five. Would you vote no, Jerry? No. <laughs> I want to get it going. Let's go. <laughs> well, we're going to vote to accept this RFQ, so then that will include giving okay. Carolyn the stuff the, the okay. authorization. Um, no inquiries after, modification, yeah, award. And once we finalize this, I can make sure those who want an electronic copy have to email and I know Yeah, that would probably be good. Yeah. Extended, I said take rid of a component. Okay, those are just, that's all cookbook stuff. Non collusion. Okay. Certificate of tax compliance. So that's a big one. State likes that one. Okay. Looks good to me. Any corrections or other comments? Um, <coughs> page six. And I'm just, I get. I'm going to pick the uh, comparative criteria, the last sentence, evaluation section, or se is it should, should it read section or sections? Say it again. So, I think you're right, Randy. Yes. It's an, there needs to be an S after section. Right. I thought I saw another one somewhere, but I can't. Oh, okay. Page five. The last sentence on the page. Mass State Building Code and all pertinent codes and regulations. Yep. I think that's, that's the only two red marks I have. Corrections or comments? None? Motion to accept the RFQ as amended. As amended. Second. Motion second. Any other comments, questions? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Of those present. <coughs> um, so this has been reviewed by council. We're ready to go out. So you'll Will you send send this out? I'll send it out to all of you guys. Yeah. Once we fix the
I'll send a copy to the whole committee. How do we get it advertised? We do all that. You're a good lady. <laughs> That's why you have procurement officers in town. <laughs> Jennifer and I are both. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't trust you guys, but. But you don't. <laughs> but I don't. No, I, I, <laughs> and for good reason. Yeah. Like I said, 30 years ago when we went out versus going out today, I knew the rules 30 years ago, but they changed so much I wouldn't. They do. I hate to do this myself. Just having the OPMs, last building I did, we didn't have to have an OPM, which was a while ago. It's huge, huge difference. Okay. Um, our next meeting is scheduled for the third Wednesday in February, but my guess is we're not going to have a lot to meet on. Um, if the responses are due... I would say it's time up after the 29th. Yep. So February meeting is out. Yep. And make the meeting on Thursday the 29th. Is that good for everybody? Or should we do it on the following Wednesday? I, I would do the yeah. following Wednesday. Well, following Wednesday. 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 Get on the yeah. That would be yeah. March 6th. March 6th. 6. 3 6, next meeting. Okay, let's not go beyond that for now, Jimmy. Just in case. Don't yeah. Oh, no, I, I agree. Okay. I've, I've got the other meeting schedules the third Wednesday of every month, but once we look at these things, we may be meeting more often. Right. Yeah. But, right. But let's, I will just leave the dates on there, realizing we could change them in a heartbeat. Okay. So the next meeting is 3 6, and that'll be to choose to review the. Um, well, if we get the applications on the 20. Mar I mean, Carolyn gets them on the 29th. On the 6th, we should have all reviewed them reviewed right. them, and we can probably start to make some kind of suggestions and decisions to narrow them down. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, um, Carolyn gets it, she's going to forward it to us? To yes, to stop in and pick them up. Right, I, stop I will, in and pick them up, whatever the yeah, case may be. Yeah, I think you'll, the hard copies obviously right, are better look to at. see. So okay. I'll make sure, I'll notify you guys that they're in, and when you can get them, or we can okay. drop them out. Okay. Sure. okay. Sounds like a plan. Good. And then we did talk about have uh, offering Gary who uh, Collier's. Collier. Yeah, I did reach out to the guy. Okay. He's still looking for him. He says he, you know, I told him we would be sending it to him. He's okay. going to be looking right. for it. So that's yeah. one person definitely. One. Yeah. They whether they had they really good luck. One in or not, but yeah. Two bill. Yeah. 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 Whether they, you know, they yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. Definitely want to have let them have offer to him. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have anything? No. Nope. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is history. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Carolyn.